to a particle moves along a straight line its displacement as meter from the fixed point o at the time is given by so we are given displacement fine is okay so we see here instantaneous velocity so we know that so s v a right this is the way so to get v we need to know what is our s so we know here so so to get velocity this one is differentiation ds over dt and this one is dv over dt and going the other way around is integration this one is integration okay now we have s we wanted to find velocity so s to velocity is differentiation so s is equal to 2 t cubed minus 5 t square plus 4 t so velocity is equal to ds over dt which is equal to so we differentiate so 3 multiply with 2 we get 6 t and then form it and then the power we minus 1 3 minus 1 is 2 okay now we have 2 2 multiply with negative 5 we get negative 10 so we have t right so 2 minus 1 is 1 we don't uh, need to write the power of 1 and then for t we get plus 4 now we have our velocity okay so the instantaneous velocity of the particle when t is equal to 2 so it wanted to find velocity when t is equal to 2 so when t is equal to 2 v is equal to we just substitute the value of t so 6 2 square minus 10 2 plus 4 this one is 6 4 minus 20 plus 4 so 24 minus 20 is 4 4 plus 4 is 8 so this one is 8 meter per second because you see here this one is meter and t so you see here this one is meter per second so meter per second this one is also equal to meter second negative one so this one is actually equal B, the range value of t in second when the particle stop. So what happened? So what if the particle stop? What happened? So we know that when it stop, we know that velocity is equal to zero because velocity. So v is equal to. So we have sixty square minus ten t plus four, right? So when v is equal to zero, zero is equal to sixty square minus ten t plus four. We can make this one smaller by dividing everything with two. So here we get two three t square divided by 2 minus 5t plus 2 is equal to 0. Now we can factorize. So here you have 3t minus 2 and then you have t minus 1. So basically this one is t is equal to 2 over 3 and then here t is equal to 1. We only accept when the time is positive. So we see here this one is both positive. So we know that v is equal to 0 when t is equal to 2 over 3 and t is equal to 1. C, range the value of t in second when the particle move to the right. So we know that this one has got to do with the velocity. So we know that moving to the right, v is larger than 0. And then we know that moving to the left, v is smaller than 0. In this case, we see here to the right, so v is larger than 0. So here we have v is 6 t square minus 10 t plus 4 is larger than 0 so here same like before so this one we have 3 t minus 2 t minus 1 is larger than 0 so for inequality we see here we have larger right so for a larger value the range is outside so here we have 2 over 3 and 1 so 2 over 3 must be here and then here 1 must be here So you see here this one is 2 over 3 less than 2 over 3 so we know that we cannot say that t is smaller than 2 over 3 only because time cannot be 0 so this one so for this one t is in between 0 so we see here this one is only larger than so we have larger than or larger than equal but this one is only larger than up to 2 over 3 and for here we can say that t is larger than 1. So we have two range here which is this one and this one. Why this one? Why usually when smaller than we just put t is smaller than 2 over 3. But then why? Because I told you time cannot be negative. That's why smaller than 2 over 3 and larger than 0.